All right, so uh, back for part two. In part one, we made the cheese sauce, which came out really good. Uh, you could taste the tofu in it. Of course, it's uh, mainly tofu, uh, but the garlic, paprika, basil, and parsley add a, a really good flavor to it. And I could see this using this just on spaghetti if uh, you wanted to do that. So we're making a pizza today, so we're going to use this as our topping. So that's first video you can see how you make this uh, this cheese sauce for our pizza we're gonna use these Mama Mary whole wheat pizza crusts they're non dairy as well no eggs so they don't contain anything except for wheat and some other items that create the dough so we have our our pizza crust I bought I've got a uh, some Boca chicken burgers or they're called original chicken meatless patties they don't have any dairy they don't have any meat in them or eggs. So that's what we're going to use for a meat flavor. Some of the vegetables that you've also seen me buy over the last week or so, uh, week and a half or so, they were they were getting some of them were getting kind of old. So I've got bell peppers, red, yellow, green, and orange bell peppers in here. I got some asparagus in here, some cilantro and spinach leaves, and I, I got chopped up one tomato and I boiled them down yesterday to to eat with my rice but I have a whole bunch of them left over so this is this is gonna be my vegetables for my pizza and then I have organic tomato basil paste that I had purchased and it doesn't have any uh, doesn't have any dairy doesn't have any eggs so it's all vegetarian so our, our pizza here will be a vegetarian pizza doesn't have anything that violates our whole foods diet so let's get started with making it. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab a spoon. Oh, I'm always forgetting the spoon before the video. I'm going to put a nice healthy serving. I don't know how much that is. Probably a three quarters cup, maybe half a cup of tomato sauce on our pizza. Spread it around. And this is a this is a basil sauce, so you can see all the spices in there. I'll take some of my vegetables, and these are already cooked, like I said. So this uh this shouldn't take that long to cook this pizza. I don't know how long it's going to take to make that tofu sauce dry out a little bit and brown up, uh, but that's part of the experiment. So I have all these. Vegetables. I don't, I'm not going to go light on the vegetables just because I like the I like vegetables. All right. And then we have our Boca chicken that I chopped up. I cooked them and chopped them up. So we're going to put this on here. And you know what? This thing almost looks like it doesn't need cheese sauce. But just to to make our pizza complete, let's do that. Let's add the cheese sauce. All right. This looks good already. I don't even feel like I need to cook it. it looks so good. Definitely gonna have enough cheese sauce left over from that uh, recipe to use for pasta later. I also got the oven uh, preheated at 450, which is per the uh, the Mama Mary's pizza crust. So we we'll hope that's good enough. For our pizza as well. So it's kind of thick. I might have made it too thick, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to stick it in the oven. I'll let you know what the minutes were uh, later on. And uh, it does look like a pizza. So let's give it a shot. We'll be back. <laughs> 